Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Beloved of the Lord Jesus Christ, I thank God for giving me this opportunity again to come before you. Today I've come with another topic. Before I start this discussion, I want us to pray. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we give you glory and honor. Mighty God, we praise you. We lift your name high because you are God. You are the I am that I am. You are the Alpha. You are the Omega. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are God that has always been. You are God that will always be. You are Yahweh, everlasting King of Glory. You are God that creates the heavens and the earth. You are God that creates the universe, the galaxies, the sun, the moon, and the stars. You are God that creates all things. You are the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Father of us all. Mighty God, I worship and praise you. If I have a thousand tongues, it's not enough for God for me to praise and worship you. But with this one tongue you have given me, I pray, Lord God, that you accept my praises, my honor, and my adoration and name for Lord Jesus Christ. I pray. Thank you, King of Glory, for again giving us this opportunity to come, to, to speak your word to your people, to come to discuss matters that, 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 that are important to us as Christians. I pray, Lord God, that you let your word comfort the way you want it to comfort. Not my word, O oh God, but let your word comfort in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray, not my mouth, so that everything that will come out of my mouth, O oh Lord God, will be according to your will in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray. I also pray, O oh God, that you give the people that will listen or will watch this, this, this message, give them the ear to hear your word. Give them a recessive heart. Let your word, O oh God, come deep into their heart, grow forth, bring forth fruit in undread food, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. I pray, Lord God, that you fill them with your Holy Spirit, so that your Holy Spirit will interpret, we make them understand the truth, O Lord God, that you want them to take from your word, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Mighty God, I give you glory and honor. I say, Lord God, to take your place in our lives, let thy will be done. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I thank God for such a great opportunity that he has given me today to come to discuss another topic with you people today the topic i'm going to discuss is idolatry that's idolatry not just idolatry in the world but idolatry in the church and the reason why i came today to discuss this matter is or this topic it's because there's a video I come across or I came across uh less almost two or three weeks ago, almost a month ago before the the Christmas time. But I did not have time to to put this video out to come at this I record this video. There's this church that I on this video there was this man he's a pastor he's a pastor of a church first of all the name that he was bearing shows that this person is of the devil you see i will say straight the way it is i don't beat around the bush at all i call it speed the speed i don't beat around the bush if you listen to this video that's why i, I always say if you come and across my message, if you doubt, pray that God will give you understanding. Pray that God will speak to your heart. Go to your Bible and read to confirm if what I'm saying is true or what I'm saying is a lie. My coming to speak or my coming, my bringing this topic is not only to because to to criticize this this so-called pastors. No, not at all. My bringing this topic is to save your souls save the souls of christians of god's children not me that will save them let us be clear not me and neither the word that i bring to you people is my word no it's not me that will save them neither as i said my word is the one that no but it is to give them the knowledge because knowledge is power and the bible says jesus christ said because of lack of knowledge my people perish to give them the knowledge of what is what is the truth 
and what is the hell or what is the truth and what is the lie. What God likes and what God detests. To show to people, to make people that are Christians understand what is it that God likes or love or what and what is it that God detests. That, that to, to make people understand the things that are an abomination before God. You see, that is the reason why I bring this topic to speak to the heart of Christians. So that the Spirit of Christ, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit can, can, can touch their heart, can speak to their heart, can use these words to, to, to manifest to their heart and bring them out of darkness to light and save them before it's too late. This video was this man it was a video of of this pastor uh he, he was he was the reason they do they put the video on youtube was was because of the the united states of america because of their election that election that they did in november because this man was talking about donald trump <laughs> he was talking about donald trump and how uh, 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 God has chosen. How, how God will bless. How God will help Donald Trump to to keep to keep him in power. To keep him to help him win the election. Exactly. And how he was he has organized a match for Donald Trump, and he was saying the reasons why he organized the match for Donald Trump. But this video, why I watched this video, I saw that in the altar of this man, the altar of this man was was filled with pictures of Jesus Christ. Picture of, of him, I think, picture of, of other human beings as well. Some female pictures, some male pictures, and some picture of, of white Jesus as they, call, as, they, as, as, as they think, because they think that person that they put there, the pictures, to, those pictures they put in their altar, they think is, is the picture of Jesus Christ. Now, all these pictures that he, he labored, that he had reached in his altar, People standing in the in in in, in the in the that's the that's in the church in the hall, in the auditorium, and they all are facing this this uh, this picture. Watch, looking at this picture, nobody. I say, I repeat again. The that church is a is a it has a, a a big crowd. Nobody among those ones that are that are also held us in that church. Or among those ones that are members in that church, as ever, or as ever, it, no, 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 no one of them has ever occurred to that what they are doing in that church is they are worshiping idols. Because once you build the altar, if you call it a place, a sacred house, a temple of God, as as we know it, that's that's what the church is. If you call a place, a house, a building, a temple of God. And you build the altar in that, in that in that place. Whatever you put in that altar, that is what you are serving. Whatever is in that altar, that is whom or or or, or what you are you are you are you are you uh, are uh, uh, channeling or directing your your praises and worship to. Whatever is in that altar, is what you are channeling or directing your praises or, and worship to. And whatever is in that altar. If it be whatever it may be, then it's what you are worshiping when you are because everybody facing altar. Altar is built so that people will worship towards the altar. That is why in the holy in 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 the holding days in the Old Testament, in the temple that God asked Moses to build, what was in the altar? Nothing was in the altar except the ark of the covenant. That was what was in the altar. And that 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 the ark of the covenant was was a place was an altar was prepared for it, and it was laid up on the altar, and the curtain was separating that place from the other people. And they called that place where they laid the the the, the ark of the covenant, the holy of holy. That was where the 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 the, the priest hero we go into once a year. With sacrifice. The blood of the lamb, of the of the ram, or, or of a bull, or whatever, the blood, after he has he has sacrificed and killed for his own self, for his own sin, and then he will kill a ram or a bull for the people. He will go with the blood into the holies of holy. 
that was what Otter was for. Even before Moses, we understand the time of uh, 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 Abraham. Anywhere he went to, if he, if he, if he, if God lays in his spirit and he set up an altar, he set up that altar to to God. Meaning, he comes there and he worship God there. If uh, in the time of uh, 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 Jacob, also known as Israel, when he set up an altar, he set up altars to worship God there. Altars that he set up was for for worshiping of the the God that he called is God Yahweh, the Almighty, the I Am. He also came to the time of Moses and God said, build the altar like this and like this and like that. Make sure you don't put anything there. No image should be put there. No carving thing, no molten thing should be put there. Because why? Whatever is in the altar that people are, are, are in, that's whatever is in the altar in a church or in a sanctuary, that is what worship and praises are channeled to. And once that wash, uh, the worship of the people and the praise of the people and the adoration of the people is shining to whatever is in the altar, whatever is in the altar receive that power, receive that praise, receive that honor. Now, if you set the pictures of a white Jesus, of a white man in your altar, the, the, the spirit that is behind that picture is whom you are worshiping. If you set your own picture in the altar, meaning you are taking the praises of, of God, you are taking the place of God. What? I, when I watch this video, I know. You see, let me give an example. You see, Catholic, for instance, they are idol worshippers. Catholics are not Christians. They they call themselves Christian, but they are not. They are idol worshippers. Because the Bible said this straight: we should not, we should not, we should not, we should not bow down to anything. Neither anything on the earth or, 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 or in the heavens above or, or in the sea. Nothing. We should not bow down to anything. Catholic, when they when they put modern carved things in their in their in their altars in, everywhere in their church, they are worshipping idol. The, the the sanctuaries of uh, the churches of Catholic belongs to the devil. Catholic is a court. It's a court of the devil. There does not any Catholic person that calls himself or herself a Christian that is that we come in come across this message repent of your sin repent of your sin know that you are not worshipping God you are worshipping the devil the devil is the one who invented images the, the devil is the one who invented uh, uh, statutes you see let me give you an example in the time of Moses when Moses went up to the, to, to, to the mountain to meet God before he came back Aaron because the people was, was complaining Aaron made he made an image of calf. And he, after he has made that gold, golden calf, he put it, he look, look, look again, he built an altar and placed it on it. And everybody came around it and was dancing and was singing and was eating. Meaning the worship, the praises, everything was, was channeled to that altar. How, 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 how is it, Christian? How, how, how is it that people are not understanding? The praises and worship was channeled to that altar. That was why God told Moses, Moses, go down, your people, they have sinned. They have went even, they, are, they, are, they, have, they have turned their back on me. Go down and meet them before, I, before my, my wrath come upon them. Go down immediately. And Moses went down, meeting, meeting Joshua. He said, let us go. It seems like something evil has happened in the, in the camp. God is angry with, with the people. And when they were coming down, Joshua told Moses, look, it's like I'm hearing uh, 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 drums and, and dancing and singing. This one, this one is not something of war or something of uh, something bad happened. This is uh, 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 singing and, and, and the drum of, 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 uh, of uh, worship, of, 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 that's of Mary, of Mary, of, of dancing and singing. When they looked, they saw that they have made a, a golden calf. And Moses, because of that anger, the tablet of of of, of the uh, of the commandment of God that God by His own hand wrote with His own finger, carved out the stone with which He wrote on by His own self from from the rock, and gave it to Moses. Moses, because of that anger, because of the the the, the, the abomination that the people of Israel as 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 committed before God, he threw he threw he threw that 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 stones away with anger. 
and the stones broke. Now, to make you understand the severity of these things that they did, what did Moses do? Moses brought that golden calf. He destroyed it and grounded it and mixed it with water and gave it to them to drink because that is what they want. They want to serve the idol. Now, and Moses quickly told Aaron, why have you done this? You see, this story I'm telling you is in the Bible. Go and read it, my brothers and my sisters. Go and read it. Now, let me come again to what brought me to this discussion. So when I saw this video, My, my, that's my heart fed, fell. My heart really fell. I wonder, of all those people that was in the church, why is it that none of them were able to have the courage to tell this man, sir, mister, or, 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 or whatever you call yourself, this thing that you are doing is evil. God said we should not put any image. You see, image does not, some people you might say it's a picture. No, whatever Image means a picture, a carving thing, or a moti thing, whatever it is. Whether picture or carving, carved stuff, or, or moting stuff with iron or brass, anything, is an image. God warned that we should not put image of anything in his altar. That shows to you that these people, they have the devil. They know what they are doing. That altar is not of God. That altar does not belong to God. That's why I put all those things there. They worship the devil. You see, how... How, how, I wonder, I, I wonder that, how is it that nobody has, was, has gathered the courage to tell this man, to advise this man, to, 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 to deviate or to abstain from that thing that they were doing, putting pictures. You see, if you, I'll put the video that you guys should watch it. I'll put it on this, I'll insert it on this video. When you see this, 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 uh, this church, eh, you see that it was, all the altar were full with pictures, pictures of people. My brothers and my sisters, we are Christians. We are called of the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, it's Jesus Christ that gave his life for us. We are to serve Jesus Christ, the God Almighty. We are to serve Yahweh. We are to serve, we are to serve Yahweh. We are to honor him. We are to obey him. In a church, if you build a church, no, 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 nothing is supposed to be in your altar. Nothing, not a, not even a, a, a. You see, that's why God said, even not even a tree shall enter the altar. Not even a tree is supposed to be in the altar. The altar is supposed to be plain, because that is where this, the, 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 the anointing and the glory of God comes, or or, or, or dwells in a church. So if you build the altar and you put pictures of, of, of different things in there, images and, and, and statues, me, that means you are serving the devil. That means you are serving those things. The power that is behind those things, the demon that, that, that is behind those things, that's what you are serving. And if you go to such churches, my brothers and my sisters, beloved of the Lord, I'm warning you and I'm telling you, advising you, come out of those churches. If you cannot speak to, the, to who is the pastor, or to the to the minister in that church, if you cannot advise him to 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 to, to remove those things from the from the altar, you come out of there. Come out of there. You see, people people go to these churches and they they, they do prayers. They, they they think that God is hearing God is hearing their prayers. No, God is not there. God does not hear the prayer that is prayed in such a place, because the spirit of God is not there. The the, the glory of God is not there. The spirit that is there is of the devil. I have asked you, for whomever you are, that we that we come in contact or, or with this uh, with this vid with this video with this message. Please learn. Remove yourself from that from such a place. If you are worshiping in a place where there are pictures in the altar, where there are where there are uh, images in the altar, where there are calf. Uh, whether carved images, molten images, whether pictures are in the altar, leave that church. Because every priest, every worship, every adoration that people do there in that church is channeled and directed to the altar. And the altar, whatever is in the altar, is whom you are praying to. And every prayer that you are praying goes to that, that thing that is in the altar because God is not there. The spirit of the devil is, is, what, is what manifests there. 
The spirit of devil is what take, con- take control or take over people there. Even while people speak in tongues or whatever they do there, they speak in tongues. The tongues that they speak in is the tongue of the devil. Let me give you, let me give you a secret. There, are, there is a tongue that is of God. There is a tongue that's of the devil. There are miracles that's of, of God. There are miracles that's, that's of the devil. Even if miracles happen in such a church, those miracles are fake. They have the devil. If you attend such a church, remove yourself and save your soul. This is not to, 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 to shame any person, but it's to encourage you people that are, 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 are following such, 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 such people, such pastors. All these pastors, they have, they have the devil. They know what they are doing. They are not interested or, 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 on saving souls. You see, like if you watch the video, you see the, the, the church was packed, it was full. I don't know why people are following these people, why people are so deceived. Because Christians don't no, no longer follow the Bible. They don't listen to God anymore. They listen to their pastors. Many have even made their pastors their God. They prefer to obey their pastors than to obey God. You see, not to keep this, this message so long. Let me read to you some places in the Bible so, so that you probably understand it. You see, whenever I speak here, I always want to make my, my, my word. I always want to support my, my 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 word or my discussions with the Bible, so that you people understand that what I what I sp- speak to you is not from me. It's from God. God is warning you for if you are attending any such church, if you worship in any such place, come out of that place, come out of that place and save your soul. Let us read Exodus chapter. Chapter 20, verse 3 to 6 to verse 6. That is why I say Catholics does not, they are not Catholic is not a church. It's not a church of God. It's a church of the devil. They are they are Catholic is a court. They serve the devil. Just like the, the, the people of, of Islam that go to Mecca and go and be uh, kissing kissing stones. They serve the devil. They serve the devil. All those Catholic is just like all this other religion. They serve the devil. They are drawn to, 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 to worshiping images, to worshiping things. You as a Christian, you are supposed to know this thing. There is one God. There is only one mediator be, between God and man. That is the man, Jesus Christ. And there is only one name among men that or that is given among men by which we can be saved. That is the name of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ by himself said, no one commit unto the Father but by him. Jesus Christ never, never encourage or tell any person to, 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 to build the altar and put images there. We never knew, we, nobody saw Jesus. I mean, uh, in the time Jesus Christ was, uh, was, was, was walking the head, there was no, nothing like a, 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 a photographic machine. Nobody has the picture of Jesus Christ. Even if you, let's say for instance, out of inspiration, you draw something. That's why God advised us from the beginning, in the time of old, in the time of the Old Testament, that we should not put any image, whether, he said, image of whether a person or, 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 or a beast in the, in, the, in, in, this, in the feed or a beast, uh, an animal of the, of, of the sea or, uh, or whatever in heaven or whatever on earth, we should not make any image. And we should not bow to them. That is why God gave that, gave that, gave that law long, long time ago. Because He knew that people will, will, will come. Not people will, will follow, we follow these things and be making image, like these people do today. This Catholic, they, they brought out through, through the, 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 the inspiration of the devil, they brought out images and they said it's Jesus Christ, and they spread it all over the world wherever they went to. Deceiving people, making people to think that Jesus Christ was 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 a, a, a wise king man. Meanwhile, Jesus Christ was was of of of, of the dark 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 race, dark skin race, or dark skin person. They spread their lies, deceive this this deceiving spirit that was in working in them, the spirit of the devil. They brought us out these pictures. That's why you see today people people even Christians people call themselves Christians. They put picture of men. In YouTube, in different places, whatever, wherever they, 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 they you see, they even brought me to saying this exactly. People that call themselves Christians, 
that put picture of this guy that uh, uh, what's his name uh Poway. oh exactly that guy that did jesus christ they put his picture everywhere do you know if you know what you are what you are doing this person is just a man as yourself you putting his picture there talking about jesus christ you are telling other people that are ignorant that this is jesus christ that's what you mean that's what you are doing in that same way you are working for the devil you are working with the devil If you if you join the devil, if you do anything that will make the the, the the brethren, the brother whom Christ have died for, if you do anything to make that brother sin, you have the devil. People come around, put things in, in, in messages in, in YouTube. They put this the picture of this guy, the picture of this guy in uh, the film. They show the film of these people that they do in the in the, in the United States. I don't know what these people name this guy, this other actors, their name. They put their film and they are talking about Jesus Christ. What you are propagating is deceit, heresies, lies from the devil. Because in a way, you are just showing to the simple man, to, to a, 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 a person that is ignorant, that does not know that this person is Jesus Christ. That's what you are doing. But to, to, the one that makes it worse is when you put such picture in a place that you call a church. Exodus chapter 20. I read from verse from verse from verse 3. Let us read and see what Jesus Christ said. Or what God said. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself any carved image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord, your God, I am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. You see it? You see it? It's, it's, it's stated the street. You shall not make any image, whether carved, whether molten, whether drawing, any image of any type at all, whether it be of man, of beast, on earth, or beast in the sea, or in the heavens above, you should not make it. Then that will you bow, bow to them. Because I, he said, he, God, is a jealous God. This is called idolatry. That is what idolatry means. Putting another, putting a statue or image in the sanctuary that you, that you call a church or a place of worship where people come to worship God. What do these people, the, all these idol worshippers, what do they do? They build a place, they put an idol there, they put an image there, and people go there and worship that image. That's what idol worshiping means. That's what these people they do. All those other people that are worshiping the devil. Why you also build a church and you put an image there, a picture or anything in the altar? That's the same thing you are doing. You are just doing the same thing as they, as they, they, they are also doing. The, the, the people that worship uh, idol, the worldly people. That's what you are, you are doing as well. Because that picture that you put there, it's not the picture of Jesus Christ. It's just a lie. Because nobody has the, has the picture of Jesus Christ. While Jesus Christ was walking on earth, there was no a, 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 a photo machine or photographic machine. There was no filming. There was nothing. Why would you come and be showing the film or be showing these pictures and putting it on your church and say this, are Jesus, this is Jesus Christ? All these are lies. You are just helping the devil to share or do his work. His work of, of deceiving people. That's what people are doing. I'm advising you as a Christian, if you go to these churches, if you cannot speak to the people that are, are leaders in the church, the man that is the leader or, or the pastor or whatever, if you cannot speak to them and make them change their ways, leave that church. Because, you see, that's why people, Christians are, many Christians don't know that they are possessed. You go to these churches, you, are, you, you get possessed by these powers that are behind the pictures, behind the images that are, that are kept in your altar. You don't know where this, those image, images come from. You don't know where that mother pastor, where he took that image from, or that picture where he, that he put there. And you all of you are standing, standing in his front, praising, worshipping, and, 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 and doing whatever. You, you also go up there when you are called for uh, altar call. You also go up there and stand and put your knee on the ground and kneel down before these pictures. You are serving the devil. I'm advising you. I'm saying this to your shame. If you don't have sins, if you, you see, that's why I wonder, Christians, what, what, what type of Christian people are, are, 
a you we should we should we should we should know better we should be wise under this we should be wise under, you see we should not be falling into the tricks of the devil let us read under please leviticus chapter chapter 26 verse 1 and this is not the only place. If you go to Jeremiah or uh, me, Ezekiel, this was what they were doing in the temple of God. When God uh, 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 went and took uh, uh, Ezekiel in, in a trance or in a vision, he took him from, from his house and took him to the temple. And God showed to him, look what they are doing. Look what they are doing, your people that you are praying for. The Israelites, look what they are doing in my, in my, in my, in my temple. They have driven away my. They, they, they have driven me away from 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 the house that was built for me. That's what God complained. That's what God said. I'm no longer there, because they do all this evil. Look what they do, all this evil that they that they commit before before in the altar in the in, in the sanctuary that that is built and called by my name. Leviticus chapter twenty six verse one. That was what they were doing. That was why God was punishing the poor of Israel. When they fed to the to, to, to Nebuchadnezzar, that was what they were doing. That was what they were doing. Go and read the Bible. That was what they were doing. They were, they were, the altar that, that the, the, the sanctuary that they built for God, they would come and put all those kings that God was punishing. That, that, that's the reason why God sent uh, uh, Nebuchadnezzar, all, all those uh, Cyrus, all those other uh, 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 Bashesa, they call it, all, those other, all, all those other kings to come and destroy uh, uh, Israel and destroy that temple. That's why God did all those things. Because God was angry with them. Because why? Because they bring images. They bring status into the temple of God. Why God was telling them to build it and giving them the, the Moses was giving them uh, the, 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 the description and how, how they will build it. He said to them straight. It was through the mouth of Moses that God was speaking. The one that they just read down in, uh, in Exodus. They should not, they should not build they should not build, a, 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 make any image, neither carved or nothing, and put it in, in, in his house, in his temple. Let us read Leviticus chapter 26. That's the same thing Christians are doing today. You go to churches today, you see all, all type of pictures, all type of images. They are imitating the Catholic people. I don't know anyway. Most churches fell out from Catholic, because Catholic, that's the same thing that, you see, I have... I, I, I sorry for I sorry why people are deceived why Christians are so are so deceived. Is it, even in this time in this age, we are supposed to be wi more wiser. We are supposed to seek God more 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 sincerely, in spirit and in truth. We are supposed to follow God so that God will teach us His word, reveal Himself to us so that we know what is true and what is error. The Vatican chapter twenty six. Let me quickly read just verse one. You shall not you shall not make idols for yourselves, neither a carved image nor a sacred pillar shall you rear up for yourselves, nor shall you set up an engraved stone in your land to bow down to it, for I am the Lord your God. You see it? God said it many times. Don't make images, don't make any carving thing, don't make these things. Because if you make them and you bow to them, you are worshipping them. Because once you make it and you put it in the temple and you go there to pray, you are praying to the devil that is behind that thing. Behind that image. Let us read again. Numbers. What is Brapo? Brapo uh, 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 what, what, what was Brapo uh, 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 beating in Ephesians? Uh, uh, Ephesus, Ephesus. In Ephesus. Why was he beating there? Because there was these people that was making a, a craft, craft people that was making a carved image of this their god that they call. A, a, let me remember the name of the of the of the goddess, Diana. That okay, le, okay. Let me just quickly reveal it to you. That is the same uh, uh, idol that today the Catholic people call Mary. That people are buying to uh, by, uh, worshiping in in Catholic church. That same image. That same god. Same goddess that they call Mary today. Mary, the mother of, of, of Christ. Fake Mary. That the Catholic are, 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 are putting everywhere. When they saw that Paul was uh, uh, preaching and was 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 uh, converting people, people was now uh, 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 leaving that, uh, uh, not worshipping this idol anymore. Because this man 
because why he was making uh, uh, these images and selling to the people of Ephesus, he was making money from it. So he went and, and gang up with his other people that do the same craft, and they came against Paul. They wanted to 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 kill him, but God also uh, uh, delivered delivered him from their hand. That was the reason because they 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 Paul was preaching and delivering people, asking them not to serve these idols anymore. That is what Christians are doing today. Numbers chapter 30, 35. Whatever is in the altar, that is what you are serving. That is why God said they should never make anything and put anything in the altar. Because anything that is there, that is what you are serving. That is what you are, your, your prayers, whom your prayers are going to. Your prayers, your worship, everything that you do. That is where it goes to. Oh, before we, let, me see, let, let, me, let me see. So I'm advising you as a Christian, all of you that's Christian, that you, you love God. If you are in these churches, ignorantly, you are following these people. You attend such churches. Please go out, go, go, come out of these churches. Leave these churches. So that, so that, so that God will, 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 will pardon you of your sins because you committed them ignorantly. Pray that God will forgive you because you committed those sins ignorantly. You were going to those churches not knowing that those people were serving idol. If you put anything in, in the church, that's what you are serving. I tell it, I'm, I'm repeating it to you people again, that go to such churches, come out of those churches. Come out of the churches and save your soul. Lord, let us see here, for instance, what God asked Moses when they get to, to the land that they are going to, what he asked them to do. Why God also said that the people of Israel, for instance, why God asked them that when they get to the land, Cana, that, they are, that he has given to them, why God said they should destroy those people that are there? Because of why? Let us read it. Because they worshipped idols. Numbers chapter 33, from verse 50. I'll read to, to verse 53. Now, the Lord spoke to Moses in the plains of Moab, by the Jordan, by the Jordan, across from Jericho, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and say to them, When you have crossed the Jordan into the land of Canaan, then you shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you. Destroy all their engraved stones, destroy all their molded images, and demolish all their high places. You shall dispose, you shall dispose the inhabitants of the land and dwell in it. For I have given it, for I have given you the land to possess. You see it? This is the reason why God said they should go to that land. That's why God gave that land to them so that they would destroy the people that were there because they were idol worshippers. Because they, 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 they were given to idol. That's why God was angry with them. That's why even God in the time of Abraham, why he said, Abraham, this land, I will give it to you and your, and your, and your, and your descendants. He said, but your descendants will have to go into Egypt for 400 or something years then I will go bring them out and bring them back to this land. Because he said, he said, because, because the sin of these people, that is their, their, their cup is not, is not, uh, it's not full yet because of their sins. But at that time, it will bring you people, bring your descendants back to take over the land and destroy them. That is the reason. Go and read the Bible. It's in Genesis. Where God was talking to Abraham, the reason why he was giving that land is because those people that were there, they were doing evil. And God wants the people of Israel to take over that land and cleanse that land of evil. That's what we just read now. Say so when they get to that land that is given to them in Canaan, they should destroy their grieving, grieving image. They should destroy everything that they have made and demolish everything. All their temples, everything that they made for, 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 for the devil. That's what Christians are not doing in the churches because of ignorance. Now let us read the Deuteronomy chapter, chapter 4. Let us see what, what God also uh, spoke through Moses here. I'm advising you, Christian, be wise. Be wise. There is no, you see, this most especially idol worshipping 
is an abomination before God. It's putting on that person before God. When you go to church, where, where pictures are, are, are laid and arranged in the altar, whether picture, whether image, whether carving thing, whether molten thing, is arranged in the altar. What you are doing is you are an idol worshiper. That is why Catholics are idol worshippers. Like just like every other idol worshippers in the world. The Hindu, the Buddhist, the 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 people, the Muslim people, the Islamists, all those all of them are idol worshippers. Because they bow down to, to stones, they bow down to, to image, they bow down to something that is made, that is made by man. They bow down to it. They believe those things will save them. Or they believe those things will, uh, will remove their sins. That is why they are evil. That, that is why they are, they, are, they are worshippers of the devil. Deuteronomy chapter 4. I'll, I'll read from verse, from verse 15 to 19. Please, if you hear, if if you come across this 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 message, and you cannot talk to any person, if you attended such a church, you cannot talk to the pastor, to the to the headers, so that they, so that they remove those things from the church. Leave that church. Go and look for a better church, a church where holiness and and, and, and sanctification is preached, a church where, where 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 they preach the truth of God, the undiluted word of God, where the pastor is 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 holy, where the pastor encourages people to live holy. Where the pastor encourage people to live without sin. Because people, they, are, they, they have the devil. They are wolves wearing sheep clothing. The breeds of the devil. They deceive people. Deuteronomy chapter 4. Starting from verse 15. I read. Take, caref take careful heed to yourselves. For you saw no form when the Lord spoke to you. At Horeb. Did you see it? You saw no form. When the Lord spoke to you at Horeb. Because the people of Israel of them were there. Moses Moses, and Aaron and, the, and Joshua was, was there. They went up up, up in the mountain to meet, to meet God. The people of Israel, they were there beneath the glory of God. They saw God when he came down from heaven. And spoke evil. He spoke to them. He spoke to them. Look at it. That, that's what he's saying here. Take careful heed to yourselves. For you saw no form when the Lord spoke to you at Horeb, out of the midst of the fire, lest you act corruptly and make for yourselves a carved image in the form of any figure, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any beast that is on the earth, or the likeness of any winged bird that flies in the air, the likeness of anything that creeps on the ground, or the likeness of any fish that is in the water beneath the head. And take it, lest you lift your eyes to heaven. And when you see the sun, the moon, and the stars, all the hosts of heaven, even to worship them and serve them, which the Lord your God has given to all the people under the whole heaven as, in, as an heritage. You see it, but the Lord has taken you and brought you out of the of the iron furnace, out of Egypt, to be His people, His inheritance, as you are this day. You see, God is telling them through Moses here, don't make any image of anything, because when you when when God came down from uh, on that mountain on the mountain of Oreb on that day, you did not see. You do not see any image. You do not see any form. You do not see any person. So don't make any image of anything. Whether of man or of, of a woman, of me or, for, or a female. Whether of, of, of a, 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 any beast that creeps in the head. Whether the likeness of anything that creeps on the ground. Don't make the likeness of any, of, of any beast that flies in the air. Nothing. They should not carve or make any image of anything. Whether carved or, or molten image, nothing. You see it? It's so straight. How many times in the Bible have we read these things? God repeating it, repeating it, repeating it. If you go to, 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 to New Testament, the same thing. Idol worshipping is evil before God. Don't be deceived. You see, when you go to church and you see picture, 
you are so you are so you are so you are so ignorant you are you are there worshiping there thinking the picture that they they, they put there is the picture of jesus christ or whether the cross some 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 they put cross with with a with a with a figure of a man on the cross they put it in the altar whether the cross they put there you think is is jesus christ you are deceived you are deceived all those images and those pictures there is a spirit and demon behind it all those things were brought to men by devil by the devil they were invented by the devil through catholic church to make to make men go against the will of god to make men go against the commandment and the and the law of god god have said it that we should not make any image my brothers and my sisters if you come in contact with this video and you attend such church you see not only if you come in contact if you come in contact with this message share it let christians know that if you if you see i've said it before like i said before if you go to any place that is called a church to any sanctuary to any uh, 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 hall or wherever they call uh, whatever building how the building is built does not as any important and provided that place is called a church people gather there to, to to praise and to worship god if you go to any way and there's an altar set in that in that place altars are for god altar are for god any altar set if anything is put in that altar whether the cross of jesus uh, uh, the cross of so-called so-called jesus christ that they say they they, they they put in that they put their cross with an image there whether it be an image of of a, a cross with a person in it whether it be a picture of a person whether it be a, a carved thing or a molten thing any image at all once anything is in the altar and you are sitting there you are worshiping there you are worshiping that thing that's in the altar Na uh, 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 naturally you might be looking at a picture or just a wood a cross with a with a an image of a person but spiritually there's a power behind it and every praise every worship every every uh, 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 adoration that you people are doing in that church is channeled to the altar that is what it is that is the secret whatever you do in that hall in that auditorium in that church in that tabernacle in that sanctuary your praise your worship is channeled to that altar and once anything is in the altar your praise and your worship that is channeled or directed to that altar the person the thing that is in that altar is what is receiving the praise and the, and, and, and the adoration is whom you are serving please be wise if you if you if you come in contact with this message share it christians should know what where they are going wrong i do that is what is called idol worshiping that is what is called idol worshiping god is not happy with christians for it but even not all human beings talk less to say christians building a church building an altar and setting a, an image there when god set it straight that we should not put any image in our it does in the church or in the sanctuary in the altar that is all I, I, I have to say to advise you people if you go to such church come out of that church save your soul save yourself from the wrath of god that will come upon every man that is doing wickedness on the earth i pray may god speak to your heart if you have any doubt about this message that i that i that i discussed today go to your bible go and read go and read read genesis read the story of abraham why he built an altar he built it unto god jo uh, 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 jacob he built an altar he built it unto god why it uh, 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 came to time of moses why they built altar god said they should build it like this and like this and, this. and the, the, the the tabernacle that's uh, uh the 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 ark of the covenant was what was put in the altar because that is the glory and the presence of god when uh, 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 uh because moses and his people the poor of israel were, were going from one place to the other even when they came to the land to to the land Cana, where god promised them that is called to the israel they was unable to build a, a, a house for for god but when it came to the time of, of david david said okay i want to build the house i want to build the tabernacle for god i want to build the sanctuary god said no 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 you, you don't build it it will be your son because there is blood in your hand you have shed so many so, so many uh, so many so many blood and when it came to the time of solomon god really 
uh, 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 helped and blessed uh, uh, Solomon. Solomon built this sanctuary for God. How did Solomon build the sanctuary? He built it according to the architectural design that was given to Moses in the in in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the Mount Sinai. When Moses went to God, the very day that God gave him the Ten Commandments, according to the design that God gave to Moses, as Moses wrote in the book of of, of the law that they should do, they should build the house of God according to this, according to this, according to this, everything. That was what uh, 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 Solomon followed, and they never put anything in the tab in, in the in the in the sanctuary. That's I mean in the altar, nothing. Nothing, even even the sanctuary as well, nothing was there unless the Ark of the Covenant. I have spoken enough. Enough is, uh, that's, they said a, a, a word is enough for the wise. I have spoken enough. I pray that God will speak to your heart. I pray that God will help you to understand that all these things are evil before him. God detests, he detests it. You see, when we read in the Bible, he punished people for this reason. That's why he, he asked the people of Israel to go destroy the people in Canaan. The, to destroy their images, demolish everything. There are the temples that they built for, the, for those devils, those gods that they were serving. That's the same reason God also turned his back in the, on, the, on the people of Israel. I just gave you a story before in Ezekiel. Not only Ezekiel, Jeremiah and Isaiah. You see when God was warning them, they should stop serving idol. Because all these kings... They, 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 they gave themselves to idol. Started from he started from Solomon, because of the many women that he married. After he built the house for God, he built uh, uh, groves. That's a small small uh, uh, altars. He built it around the Israel for his wives, for his many wives that he took. Because his wives they came with their devils, with their with their idols. So he built groves. He built the uh, uh, temples, small small ones. He built it for these people. My God. And these people, they set their, their God, their devil, the demon that they serve, their images, they set it on, on each. And they, they will go there and go and be doing sacrifice and worshipping this, this God. From there, the people of Israel, they were lewd, they were lewd, they were turned. And they started to join this join in worshipping this, these idols. And that's the same idol God said they should, they should destroy when they get to Canaan. When they get to the, the land that he has promised and, and that he's given them. That is what you are doing when you go to these churches where the the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. President Trump, the name ot ot otters, and they put an uh, image there. My brother, I have said enough. My brothers and sisters, I have said enough. I pray that God will speak to your heart. So, if you are not a Christian, if you are not giving your life to Jesus Christ, I I, I plead with you because we are in the end time. According to uh, 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 Jesus Christ, as he has said, that when we start to see all these things that is happening, we should know that the end is near. I plead and I ask you and I advise you that you give your life to Jesus Christ. Give your life to Jesus Christ so that he will save you. Ask him to cleanse you. Ask him, ask him to give you his Holy Spirit so that his Holy Spirit will guide you, will lead you through before he's come and keep you from sin. So that when God, when Jesus Christ will come, you will be worthy to enter into his kingdom, to go to, his, to enter the kingdom with him. If you are not a Christian, repent and give your life to Jesus Christ because he's the only one that can save. If you also, you are worshipping all these idols, all these other gods, these devils that they call God, these demons, leave those idols. Come, give your life to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only one that can save. I encourage you, I advise you, this thing that I'm saying to you, if you come in contact with this message, is the, is the best thing that any person, any any person can tell you it's the best that any person can at any best advice any person can advise you i'm saying it out of love if you are not a christian if you are not giving your life to jesus christ leave whatever idol you are worshiping whatever thing you are doing if you are if you are an atheist and agnostics those are called themselves they don't they don't have religion forget those things come and give your life to jesus christ because the coming of jesus christ is near the time is short give your life to jesus christ and for you christian if you are a Christian, you are you are you are going to such churches like I just uh, uh, described in this in this message. Come out of those churches, repent of your sin, save yourself, because you see it is for us that Jesus Christ came to die. Let His death on on the cross of Calvary not be not be in vain in your life. Save yourself, save yourself, because you see, for for you as a Christian, 
on that day when, when you are not able to enter into heaven, it will be worse for you than those that are not Christians. Because to whom much is given, much is also expected. It will be worse for you. That's why Jesus Christ said that those that knew him, that have tasted of his goodness and, and, they, and did not enter the kingdom, their punishment will be greater. So I, have, I advise you, I, I encourage you, I plead with everybody that we come in contact with this video. Save yourself. Repent of your sin. Ask God to forgive your sins. Cleanse yourself. Keep yourself holy. Keep, keep yourself righteous. It's not easy to do, but if you ask Jesus Christ, He will also give you the grace and the power to be able to live holy. Because that's the reason why He, 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 he sent His Holy Spirit. May God bless you. May God speak to your heart. May God, may God give you grace and power to, to, to change from, from your ways if you, if, if you, if you are not in, 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 the, in the right way with God. Please share this video. Subscribe to, to, to this channel. If you have any, 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 any questions or any comments, leave it at the comment, comment box. If, if you also uh, 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 have friends, family members, or any person that attends such churches, Please make sure that they watch this message, they listen to this message, share it, and, and, and make, make sure they, 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 they listen to it. Also, as, help them. When God will speak to your heart, also help them so that they listen to it, so that they will know that the way that they are following is the way of the devil. It's, it's an error. God wants strongly about putting anything that is image in the, in the temple, in the, in the sanctuary or in the altar. Thank you very much for listening. May God bless you. Keep yourself safe. Shalom.